everyone. Welcome to today's live session about top 10 skills to become a full stack developer. Now full stack developers are in high demand in today's world owing to their diverse coding skills. Now organizations prefer to invest in one full stack developer rather than hiring two or three engineers to do the same job. Now a full stack web developer is someone who is able to work on both the front end and back end portions of an application. So let's have a look at the top 10 skills that you must have in order to become a full stack web developer. Now on number 10 we have the basic designing abilities. Now in order to become a successful full stack developer, the knowledge of designing is also recommended. Moreover, the person should know the principle of basic prototype design and UI UX design. Now UX is basically the interaction and experience that users have with a company's products and services, whereas UI is the specific asset users interact with. For example, UI can deal with traditional concepts like visual design elements such as colors and typography. Now basic designing abilities also include the knowledge of Photoshop, WordPress and analytical skills. Now these are some of the basic requirements that will help you build an amazing website. Now to become a successful full stack developer, you must start with some of these basic skills in designing. Now moving on, the next skill is web development frameworks. In computer programming, a software framework is an abstraction in which software providing generic functionality can be selectively changed by additional user written code thus providing application specific software. A software framework provides a standard way to build and deploy applications. Now some of the famous web development frameworks are Laravel, Angular, React, Node.js and many more. Now Laravel is basically an open source PHP framework. It has captured the imagination of web artisans over the years. Angular is also an open source JavaScript framework used for front end development. Most dynamic web applications are built using this particular framework. React is also a library for building composable user interfaces. Now it encourages the creation of reusable UI components which present data that changes over time. Now it is not a complete application framework like Angular. It is just a view layer. There are many more frameworks that can be used for web development. So it is important to have an in-depth knowledge about all these frameworks in order to become a full stack web developer. Moving on next up on number 8 we have mobile support and SEO. Now SEO is more about how the page is indexed. This depends on how it is scrolled. So this is more about front end web development. But if you consider all the aspects involved in SEO such as time to render a page and whether your site implements HTTPS then you will understand that it also need to consider different aspects of web development and not just the front end development. Now having a good knowledge about the mobile support in web development and the SEO techniques will definitely help you in the running of becoming a full stack developer. Next up on number 7 we have project management tools. Now project management tools are aids to assist an individual or team to effectively organize work and manage projects and tasks. Now the term usually refers to project management software that you can purchase online or even use for free. Of course any project management task is much easier to accomplish when you have the right tools. Now if you feel intimidated by advanced multifunctional software and don't have any special training, the following project management tools will be ideal for you such as the Asana, Jira, Trello and many more. Now the Asana basically combines the elements of project management, file storage and collaboration and also helps to manage projects across a team without email. Jira is also a cross-platform issue and bug tracking software with advanced project management capabilities and features. Trello is also known for visualizing project tasks on a cardboard like the dashboard that's great for managing short and quick everyday assignments. So these were some of the common project management tools that you must know about that will help you become a full stack developer. Next up on number 6 we have the HTTP and REST API. Now hypertext transfer protocol is basically the life of the web. 
It's used every time you transfer a document or make an AJAX request. But HTTP is surprisingly a relative unknown among some web developers. REST is a simple way to organize interactions between the independent systems. Now it has been growing in popularity since 2005 and inspires the rest of services such as the Twitter API. Now this is due to the fact that REST allows you to interact with minimal overhead with clients as diverse as mobile phones and other websites. HTTP is basically a stateless application protocol on the internet which allows clients to communicate with servers. So basically it enables communication between the front end of your web page and the back end. Now there are a lot of web developers out there who don't know much about HTTP. But it is quite essential to have an understanding about HTTP and how the internet works. Now moving on, the next one is the version control systems. Now version control system is a system that records changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can recall specific versions later. Perhaps the greatest benefits of using version control tools is that you have the capacity to deal with an unlimited number of people working on the same code base without having to make sure that files are delivered back and forth. Now some of the most popular and most preferred open source version control systems and tools available for making your setup easier are the SVN and Git. SVN or the subversion as it is sometimes called is generally the version control system that has the widest adoption. Now most forms of open source projects will use subversion because many other large products such as Ruby, Python, Apache and more use it too. Git is basically considered to be a newer and faster emerging star when it comes to version control systems. Now next up on number 4 we have the database. Now a database is an organized collection of data generally stored and accessed electronically from a computer system. Where databases are more complex, they are often developed using formal design and modeling techniques. The database layer is a massive hub of information. It contains a database repository which captures and stores information from the front end through the back end. Now a prerequisite is to have knowledge of how data is stored, edited, retrieved from different databases such as the MySQL and MongoDB. Now full stack developers must program the web server to respond with the right resources. So the main aim of the web server here is to respond with the correct resources. But where do they get these resources from? So the web server is connected to a database which is continuously pulled on receiving some request. This application is programmed using server side languages like Java, Python, PHP, Node.js and databases such as the MySQL, MongoDB, SQL which are used to store, manipulate and retrieve data. Now next up on number 3 we have the backend technologies. So first of all, you must have a decent understanding of how a website or a web application is built and what tools and technologies are used to do so. You also have to understand the role of a full stack developer, how he creates and maintains the front end and the back end of a web page. So let's understand his role in the back end development first. So a back end developer creates and maintains the web server application and the database which allows the front end of the website to operate. To make the server application and database communicate with each other, back end developers use the server side languages like PHP, Ruby, Python, Java and .NET. Now they also require to have prior knowledge on databases such as the MySQL, SQL in order to fetch, store or edit data and then serve it back to the user in the front end. We have already talked about frameworks, so we will know more about them in the front end technologies. But there's one framework that works in the back end as well, that is the Node.js. Now Node.js is an open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside of a browser. Now moving on, on number two we have the front end technologies. Now to master front end web development, you will need to know many languages but the main languages are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now HTML which stands for the hypertext markup language is the skeleton of every web page. It defines the structure of the web 
Without it, the web would be as shapeless as a lump of clay. Now by using HTML, you tell the browser how you want your content to be structured by defining the different parts of a web page. You can define the content of your web pages within the HTML tags. CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets, is like the clothes we wear to look stylish and attractive. Similarly, the web uses CSS to add style to a web page. Next up is the JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is basically a language of the web. Every browser, PC and mobile phone understands. JavaScript can run natively on the browser. By natively, I mean that most of the web browsers like Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer have a JavaScript engine embedded into them. Now this JavaScript engine interprets the JavaScript code so that it can run on the browser. Now along with the programming languages, there are some important frameworks in the front-end technologies such as the Angular, React and Vue. Now moving on finally to number one, we have web architecture. Now it is one of the most important skills that you must possess in order to become a successful full stack developer. Now web architecture is the conceptual structure of the world wide web. The www or the internet is a constantly changing medium that enables communication between different users and the technical interaction between different systems and subsystems. All web-based database applications have three primary components, a web browser or a client, a web application server, and also a database server. Now web server architecture is the logical layout or design of a web server based on which a web server is designed, developed, and deployed. Now it defines the architectural layout and components of a web server, essential for delivering the required web server-based operations and services. So it is very important for a full stack web developer to be very proficient with the web architecture. Okay, so this was all the top 10 skills that you need to become a full stack developer. But apart from all of these, a full stack developer obviously needs to have prior knowledge about running the application on an operating systems like the Linux, Windows and so on. Because at the end of the day, all of this runs on top of an operating system. Now, becoming a full stack web developer requires good amount of effort and dedication. But is it worth all this effort? Definitely it is. It is the most valued designation and once you practice full stack web development, you will become a master of the web. So what are you waiting for? Enroll yourselves for the full stack web development master course provided by Edureka. It makes you proficient in skills to work with backend and frontend web technologies. It includes training on web development, jQuery, Angular, Node.js and many more. So this was all about today's session. I hope it has helped you gain some insights about how to become a full stack web developer. So me and my team will be here for another 5-10 minutes in order to answer your queries. So go ahead and ask any doubt on the live chat and we will get back to you with the answers.